A boater uses six basic knots. Learn them well. They are the square knot, the bowler, the clove hitch, the figure eight, and the half hitch. The square knot is very simple to make. This knot is used for light duty applications. The bowline is the handiest of all the knots. It is probably the most difficult to master, but it's the best when you need a loop or an eye. This lock will neither slip or jam. The clove hitch is simply two loops with an end tucked under. Use this knot to secure to a piling or similar structure. For additional security, finish the clove hitch with two half hitches, like this. The last of our basic knots is the figure eight. This is a stopping knot. It is used to prevent the line from running through a block, jam cleat, or other opening by placing the knot at the end of the line. It can also be used temporarily in place of whipping an unraveling line. Making fast to a cleat is easy. Wrap the line on the base of the cleat, then make two or three figure eights around the horns of the cleat like this. Then reverse the last loop to lock it onto the cleat. A word on preventative maintenance. Refer to your boat and engine manuals, or contact the manufacturers to determine the proper maintenance required and a recommended schedule to follow. Water means freedom to many boaters. Abusing that freedom prevents shoreline property owners and other boaters from enjoying the peacefulness of open water and beaches. It also creates a need for more restrictive laws. Boaters must respect the rights of property owners. These rights vary depending on movement of the water level. Generally, property rights extend to the water's edge. The freedom to use water does not include the right to use private land. Boaters must have the owner's permission to launch or moor a boat on private property. Proper storage of your boat during the off-season can make the spring fitting out a lot easier. Water damage, mildew, and other problems. This can be very important. Take canvas covers, for example. They're nice because they keep the boat clean, but they shut in warm air and moisture, the two things that help mildew and wood rot start. To prevent mildew and wood rot, Leave a part of the boat open so fresh air can circulate through the boat. Play it safe. Repack the wheel bearings at the end of each boating season. This way you'll be ready for the spring. Also, turn your tires periodically to prevent rot. Remember to keep the tongue of the trailer higher than the rear end. This allows rainwater to drain out. Always keep the fuel tank full. This prevents condensation inside the tank from temperature changes. Condensation also forms on the engine. Don't leave the water jacket empty. This will cause rust and corrosion. Fill the water jacket with antifreeze. Outboards and boat stern drives have an open cooling system. Therefore, they don't retain antifreeze well. Remove all of your electronics, PFDs, and first aid kits. They should all be stored in a dry, cool place ashore. Your boat trailer is an important part of your boating equipment. Continual maintenance and care in hitching and towing are necessary. We pack the wheel bearings during the boating season to be sure that they are adequately greased. Be sure that the size of the hitch is correct for the weight on the tongue. Avoid the clamp on bumper hitches. The tongue weight should not exceed 5 to 7% of the total trailer weight on the hitch.